In the next few years, I think one of the biggest challenges is going to be how do we integrate technology uh, into good teaching. Um, uh, we've done, we, in Arizona Research Laboratory, we were engaged in uh, uh, some pretty serious study of interactive whiteboards and their effects on classroom teaching, particularly with Promethean technology. And that's one of, you know, we, we're a research laboratory, so we try to get, we look for studies like that. Um, and after that study, I'm just totally convinced uh, that, uh, uh, you know, that type of technology, and there are other types of technologies too, you know, uh, they're, they're uh, you know, for example, individual laptops for, for students. Uh, but in this case, it was interactive whiteboards, the Promethean version of that, that when used well, that, that, that makes a classroom, you know, uh, that, that makes things available to, available to teachers and students that well, you just can't have it. You just can't, you know, a, a great teacher with an interactive whiteboard you know, will outperform a great teacher, you know, without an interactive whiteboard. They just have more tools at their, uh, at their disposal. Now, you know, I'm sure there are exceptions to that, but, but I just think it's a very powerful te technology. Uh, so how do, we, uh, how do we now redefine teaching, you know, using the technology, those technologies? Because it's different. Um, you know, I've written books on instruction, and I realize that 10 years from now, any book I've written on instruction is in previously is not going to be very useful because it doesn't address how to do, you know, something with technology, interactive whiteboards, individual student computers. So that's a whole, that's a whole big area here. It just changes things, and sometimes it changes things dramatically. So I think it's not like we're going to throw out everything we know. I think what we've learned about teaching without technology will be the basis now to say, and how do we teach better with technology? Um, the, uh, some folks I've talked to have predicted that within five years, 50% of the schools in this country, 50% of the classrooms in this country will have interactive whiteboards of some sort. I believe in the UK now, 80% of the classrooms have interactive whiteboards. So if that's even remotely accurate, you know, 10 years from now, you know, the majority of classrooms will have that technology and teaching will have to look very, very different. And I think, you know, the potential is dramatic in terms of how much better job we can do, you know, than we do right now.